Welcome to AB Circus. We all dream of flying. When you watch aerial acrobatics at the circus, that dream comes true right before your eyes. Artists defy gravity and seem to suspend the laws of time and space with grace, emotion, and poetry. Aerial acrobatics define the circus at its most magical and sublime. And pushing aerial acrobatics to the limits is one of the things that Cirque du Soleil does best. But where did aerial acrobatics come from? And how are they being practiced today? We'll find out in this latest episode of AB Circus. The word acrobatics comes from two Greek words, akros, which means height, and bat, which refers to walking. So, high walking. Acrobats have always been trying to get into the air in one way or another. If you've been watching the other videos in this series, then you know that what we recognize as the circus today is in many ways the result of two different traditions. The circus tradition in the West, which goes back to ancient Rome and classical Greece, and the circus tradition in China. In both cases, these traditions go back thousands of years. Acrobatics became aerial acrobatics in both traditions when artists started to perform high off the ground on stretched out ropes. The high wire was born and thrilled audiences both in ancient China and at medieval fairs. Aerial acrobatics really began to take off, if you'll pardon the expression, when the first modern circus was created by Philip Astley in London in the 18th century. As the circus grew, aerial acrobatics began to be developed on ropes, slings, and ribbons. The trapeze is perhaps the most recognized aerial acrobatic apparatus. It was invented by a French acrobat named Jules Lyotard in the 19th century. Jules is also famous for inventing the one-piece, skin-tight garment that bears his name. The leotard was designed for safety and agility and to show off the physique. Look good on him. As the circus grew bigger and more popular, the acts within it had to become more spectacular. The art of aerial acrobatics grew and true stars were born. With the advent of the new circus movement in the 1970s, a new emphasis was laid on poetry, theatrics, and artistic expression, leading to the type of acrobatic performance you see in Cirque du Soleil shows today. Costumes changed too, but the idea of showing off the physique has never gone away. A little definition before we start. You'll know this already if you watched our video about floor acrobatics. There are traditionally two roles in an acrobatic team. The carrier, who provides support and lift, and the flyer, who you guessed it, flies through the air and performs acrobatics. As the art has developed, certain types of aerial acrobatics have been formalized and are now commonly the ones audiences see most. One more important point. In acrobatics, the name of the apparatus being used and the name of the act in question are often the same. So don't be confused, okay? Aerial rings are an apparatus similar to what you see in gymnastics competitions. There are two suspended metal circles that artists use to perform swivels, drops, and balances. They can also be used while swinging in the air. And that's thrillingly where the comparison to gymnastics ends. The aerial cradle is a rectangular metal framework that is often attached to the top of a circus tent. The carrier kneels inside the frame to help the flyer perform aerial acrobatics. The Russian cradle is a kind of stand composed of two gantries. These include platforms that are fastened to the ground at variable heights facing forward. Depending on the act, a carrier or several carriers stand on it attached at the waist. The carrier can then throw flyers around as needed. The flyers, as flyers do, perform acrobatics when propelled this way. The aerial hoop is a circular aerial apparatus made of metal. It comes in various sizes and can be attached at one or two points. The hoop can be fixed or swinging, high in the air or close to the ground. It can also be used at floor level and can swing and spin. The acrobats, who are nothing if not inventive, can use it in a variety of surprising and exciting ways. The col de lisse, or loose rope in English, is a three to five centimeter stranded or braided cotton rope. It hangs vertically and allows the acrobat to perform a number of tricks. The Spanish web is very similar. It includes a loop that the acrobat can insert their hand or foot into. Aerial acrobats often rotate on the called this and Spanish hoop with the help of an assistant on the ground. The cloud swing is a slack rope attached at both ends to form a roughly six meter long swing. As it swings, the acrobat performs holds, turns, and other aerial acrobatics. Fun fact, 
The cloud swing was invented in the 17th century by tightrope walkers, before the invention of the trapeze. Sorry, Jules Leotard, but at least you were a fashion pioneer. The straps are an Asian invention. Straps are two parallel strips that are several meters long. The acrobat rolls and unrolls the wrists and arms to rise into the air, fall, and perform other spectacular moves. Because the straps are long, the artist can make use of the whole circular performance space, showing incredible grace. This, my friends, is poetry in motion. Silks also allow acrobats to use the whole circular performance space and create stunning visual tableaus. The silks are essentially one long length of silk folded in half to create two panels hung vertically from a hooking device. Artists roll and contort in the silk, all while flying through the air and performing various jaw-dropping stunts. Don't worry, Jules Leotard, we haven't forgotten you. The swinging trapeze is a simple trapeze suspended at a great height. It requires a range of 14 meters. The dance trapeze evolved from the aerial hoop, and like the aerial hoop can be static or swinging. It's used to perform arresting choreographies and acrobatics. Used closer to the ground, it allows artists to use their feet and vary their speed, and they can do it while dressed in a leotard. The static trapeze is what it sounds like. It's a trapeze that doesn't move and is used like the aerial cradle with the carrier attaching himself or herself by the bend in the knees. The magic of all acrobats is that they make it look easy. We all know that it's not, but how many of us have said, jokingly, yeah, I can do that. That's the wonder of the circus, using art to make us believe that we can do more and be more. And as with all things Cirque, we constantly try to push the discipline forward through technical and artistic innovation. After thousands of years, we are keeping the dream of flying alive. But enough talk. Mesdames et messieurs, on with the show.